10 kilowatt wind turbine complete set which means inverter, turbine and controller. Why complete set? Because this is working. For whom this turbine is? This is household wind turbine, this is big household wind turbine, so this means it also for the farms, for the small companies. If this is turbine for home, apart from production, quite big production, like 10 megawatt hours per year, the most important thing about it is the safety. Of course, all electromagnetic brakes are great. They are cool and fashionable thing, but they are limited by the power of generator, which means you cannot break the turbine with bigger power than the power of generator in this turbine, which is problematic if you've got turbine with very efficient and long blades, and here we've got 6.3 meter blade, uh, diameter of the blades, it's on very strong winds, it wouldn't be possible to break it with only electromagnetical brakes. That's why this turbine has aerodynamic brake. This fancy aerodynamic brake is tail, tail that turns wind turbine sideways to the wind for winds above 70 km per hour, 54 miles per hour. Why can't we leave this turbine alone? Why we have to <laughs> turn it from the wind? Because of the tip to wind speed ratio. As was in previous videos, this is the constant ratio of speed of tip of the blade to the wind and if the wind is like 50 miles per hour this means if the tip to blade ratio is 5 the tip is going with 250 miles per hour which is already very fast but if we've got hurricane winds which means 100 miles per hour, 150 kilometers per hour. Tip speed would be then 700 kilometers per hour or 500 miles per hour. And this is the factor which makes wind turbines collapse, which makes, makes wind turbines almost burst. So in this turbine, we are using two factor braking. First, tail is turning wind turbine out of the wind for winds above 20 meters per second. And this is not breaking turbine completely, but this breaks and also it decreases forces on the mast. And another thing is controller, which applies then electromagnetic brake, which breaks turbine almost completely, up to few rotations per minute. And that is why, as an installer, I preferred wind turbines with foldable tail. I know they are not very fashionable because they don't look so expensive as these electrically turned wind turbines, but they are much more durable. Why this complete set? Because even if they is quite expensive, and this damming controller is very expensive one. This gives us system which works, system which is proven, system which is making power and doesn't give us too much of the headache. Of course, first after installing, we have to uh, put numbers in the inverter because this is not totally automatic. We have to put power curve to the inverter to make it work as efficient as it is possible. All data inverters, this on grid, grid type, and also hybrid, which enables off grid working and also enables hybrid working. You can feed the grid, but if conditions are not favorable for this kind of topology, you can just use it on your site because they also enables 48 volt energy warehouses. In addition, thanks to the fact that we already have several such an installations, it's easy to exchange information. It's easy to troubleshoot how to proceed, how to install. This is quite big of an investment. So first, I would ask you to go to windy.com or any other this type of site 
and check wind conditions in your specific address, in your specific place. If it is quite okay, -ish, I would ask you to invest another 100 euros into weather station. Even if you cannot measure wind conditions on the site, because uh, you want to put wind turbine 50 meters or more from your house and you can measure wind conditions on your house. This will give us some indications how much energy you can produce in your, in your site. And the most important question, why without tower? Why without mast? Because of cost of transportation. I can give you a tip about cheapest and best possible tower for the wind turbine. In this part of Europe where I live, cheapest and the best masts for wind turbines are concrete masts. Why? Because you can buy them because in Europe they are widely used on the grid. And if you ask crane services near to you in most of Central Europe and in Germany also, I don't know about France, you can buy it very cheap second hand and you can buy it with installment already because all these crane companies when they change the masts, the poles on the grid they, they cannot put the same pole another time in the ground. So they have to retrieve it. And for us, it's cheap tower for wind turbine. Often crane service or lifting service companies, they even have their own guy who can help with paperwork. Most of my colleagues chose the controller at the mast side. I think on the mast side, you can have manually operated brake as a second brake. But controller and inverter should be in house. If you are interested, you can click on links on, in description. There are two versions, on grid and hybrid, which means could be used for off grid. Both of them three phase. And with hybrid one, you can use 48 volt cheap uh, LFP energy warehouses. If you've got any questions, hit me below.